Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new Minecraft video. Um, a while back, when I was, uh, you know, releasing missiles and stuff, there's there had been uh, frequent requests from people asking if I could make a uh, a missile that explodes and works on the water. I know there's a lot of people that play on the, you know, faction servers, and often or more than often, people tend to uh, use water to like prevent any explosions on the side of their walls. So what I have here is a five thick layer of cobblestone, one of the one of the toughest uh, or like one of the, the blocks with the highest blast resistance. And yeah, blowing blowing a wall up like this is quite hard. Um, I've made uh, a design that uh, packs a punch but uh, it's definitely probably something that can be improved. But I, I really like the aesthetics uh, of, of these torpedoes though. So just to give you an impression, I have here the uh, yeah, sort of engine and the primary ignition system. Uh, this thing flies the same speed as the lightning from a missile wars and it continues flying even when it goes uh, on the water. Um, it's probably best to uh, not use sea lanterns, but to use like slime blocks instead. But the idea is that the TNT gets ignited, there's no water that can reach it because it's completely surrounded, and you get this impact. But as you can see, cobblestone is extremely tough. This TNT literally was next to the cobblestone and it still only did very limited damage. Um, so to prevent, uh, or prevent to, uh, to get a bit more oomph from your missile, uh, what I have here is a, uh, yeah, like a torpedo that's split up into two segments. We have uh, like a piercing area on the front of the missile, and then uh, like the primary ignition system. The idea is that uh, depending on how thick the wall is, because that's a big if with this design, um, if you have an estimate on how thick the wall is, what you can do is you can um, make it so that this piston, the one I'm looking at right now, uh, when like piercing through the wall does not go over the 12 block push limit. So the wall is five thick. That means I can have a total of seven blocks here to come up to a, a max of 12. And the idea is that this TNT ignites first, uh, like igniting the TNT uh, that's in front of it. So hopefully this will do a bit more damage. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the cobblestone is just incredibly tough. And I would love to see like more people mess around with it a bit but uh, this thing looks so cool though anyways when it reaches the wall you'll see that like on the other side cobblestone will be pushed out of the way primary tnt gets ignited you can see the other tnt behind it and you get like uh, a big blast going all the way through so this is uh, a way to damage like a five thick wall um, i will uh, do a tutorial on this like uh, further in the video um, but uh, like I'm sure this is something that can be messed around with a bit more. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, this result as it is. Okay, how to build it? Uh, well, first in my in my hotbar you will see uh, all the necessary items uh, you'll need to build it. So 16 slime blocks, eight pistons, six redstone blocks, only 14 T. The sea lanterns are optional, I like them because it allows you to see on the water. You can also use glowstone or glass or whatever. Something that has a low uh, blast resistance is best. Uh, and I have stained glass, but that's also optional. Just get something that's movable, not not sticky and has a low blast resistance. Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm building the, uh, the torpedo towards facing towards the wall because I want to fire it when it's done. Um, what we're building here now is the, the engine. It basically consists out of two segments, um, like two, two sets of uh, two pistons. The reason we're using two sets of two pistons is to, um, to yeah, basically update the pistons faster. Uh, that way they'll retract faster and um, yeah, you'll, you'll be able to make your, your loop in the engine a lot smaller. Uh, the reason I'm placing a furnace here now is only temporarily because I want to be able to place a redstone block here without the piston below being updated and extending. Um, so now we'll have a diagonally powered piston that's not being updated. Um, I guess it's probably wise to leave the furnace here for now. Uh, then continuing onwards, uh, what we have is 
the second segment. Uh, this one will have a little gap in between. And this is basically the engine that uh, powers the torpedo. Same speed as the uh, Lightning, but uh, yeah, so it's, it's kind of nice and compact. Uh, the redstone block at the front will be needed to uh, ignite the TNT, like the, 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 the primary primer. Um, once you're done with that, uh, we're going to continue to the, you know, the front of the missile. And what we'll have is um, like this. Then we need this piston up here for the like the, the piercing of the TNT. Uh, the TNT itself. I will actually be here and the kind of cool thing what's happening is like the moment this thing hits a wall this piston down here will extend which will prevent the TNT from falling down into the water and you know not not doing anything um, then I like have some sea lanterns here I guess now we can remove the furnace though it, like it's done its purpose and then once you're done with that like the piercing will be redstone on top and below. The reason I have redstone below is to update this piston and that's again to uh, speed up the block update on the on the piston, meaning that uh, it can fly faster. Like seeing as my engine is incredibly fast, all the pistons have to act uh, as, as fast as possible and this is the way to accomplish that. Um, then we'll put uh, something with low blast resistance, this piece of glass will do, and now it kind of depends on how thick the wall is. Uh, like if you uh, have no idea, then this is probably uh, a good way of going, like having one TNT at the front. Uh, that means that uh, if the wall is eight thick, it will still do like a little bit of piercing. But the idea is that like the sum of this amount of blocks, five, uh, plus the thickness of the wall should be 12 or less. So my calculation earlier is actually wrong. Um, this is for uh, a wall that's seven thick. Anyways, we know that the wall uh, we currently have is five, so that means that I can place uh, seven blocks in total, uh, like on the piercing, to come to a total of 12. And then once you're done, all you have to do is uh, use a flint and steel or something else. You could have a piston, for instance. Uh, you update uh, the piston that is butted, and this thing should start flying at, uh, at high speed. You can send these from, from far, far away because they'll just continue flying. Let's see how much damage we can do this time. Goes into the water, no problem. Like I said, sea lanterns, like if you're doing combat, it's probably better to not show them where the missiles are. Just uh, give them a little surprise. There we go. So this one was not as effective, it seems. Uh, we were almost through. It, there's a bit of a random factor in there. But then again, like a five thick cobblestone wall with uh, this amount of water in front of it is kind of ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I'm curious what uh, what sort of other designs people can come up with. I think this uh, could be kind of a challenge, you know, to make a good, uh, a good underwater torpedo that can uh, blast through a, a thick cobblestone wall. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for future content. And uh, thanks for watching. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.